If like me, you're a big fan of Word Wall, you're going to be very pleased to hear the news that there is now audio in Word Wall. So when you make activities, you can include audio. This is going to be particularly useful for language teachers. And the other good news is it's not only in English. The voice facility that they're using actually functions in lots of different languages. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you through the new feature, I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to suggest you a few ways that I've been experimenting with using the audio in WordWall. Really hope you like the video, as always if you do, please like it, please share it with other teachers, please comment on it, love to know what you think of this new feature, and of course join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now to save you time, I've created a menu system so that you can jump to different sections. However, I have been working with WordWall recently on their WordWall Educator program. So I've got a lot of insights in how to, the audio feature works. So it might be worth watching this video all the way through. I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you how to create WordWalls when it's just one word. I'm then gonna show you how it works with sentences because it's just slightly different. I'm then gonna show you how to set it to work with other languages if it wants to be French or Spanish or Polish there is in fact many many languages that you can use I'm then going to show you how you can add your own voice and finally I'm going to show you or just just point out to you there are a few limits on the word wall options for audio so you can use the menu system if you want to jump to different sections or watch the video all the way through and you're really going to learn how the audio feature works Let's start by actually looking at an activity that I've already converted into an audio activity and also it will give you an indication of just the quality of the audio which I'm very impressed with. So this is a very simple game, the students simply have to move in, group the words but notice if I click here France Africa Spain London Europe. Okay, so very good in English, for example, and I have tried it also in Spanish and in French. And obviously, as I drag the words, France, it says it as well, which is quite nice. I kind of like that. Okay. London. Okay, so I really like the feature. Now I'm going to quickly show you how you can do this, and then we're going to look at whether it works at sentence level, and then we're going to look at other languages. Incidentally, if you don't know how WordWall works, if you've never worked with WordWall, I do have a video on the screen now that's very popular. Uh, it will take you through all the basics of working with WordWall, and I think it's been played tens of thousands of times already, and that really will help you if you need to start from the beginning. Now, one of the good things is that you can go back to old activities you've created, and I'm gonna come back to this one. Okay, so this is another version of the game that you just saw me do, but this one I haven't edited. I'm gonna click on Edit Content, and notice that I have got here now the option of adding the audio. Now, what I do need to do is activate it, so I need to click on it, choose the language that I want to use, and notice the number of languages. I've even got different accents that I can work with in English. Obviously, I'm gonna use, a, well, not obviously, but I'm gonna use a British accent. I can even choose whether it's gonna be a male or female voice. And then what I do is I click on Generate. Madrid. And then I click on OK, and that has now added the audio. Now, I have to go through and do it to all of them. So Paris. you do need to generate all of the audio, and then click on OK, okay? So again, Beijing. so you can see here now that I've just, I won't do it any further because I want to concentrate on having notice that you must click on, 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 on uh, generate and Beijing. then click on OK, otherwise it does not add it. So you've got to click on OK. Now just stop there and let's, won't do any more, but just to show you then, if I click on done, that now means that that game would have the audio attached to those three words. So if we now see on the screen here, and it opens up onto the screen, some of the words as they come Beijing. across will include the audio. As you can notice, for example, it said Beijing as it come onto the screen. I really like that feature. Now, obviously, the words that I haven't added to the audio to, it won't work. So it's a really nice feature that's, that works in... Um, 
But what I want to do now is show you how it would work, for example, if we use it at sentence level. So this one where I haven't added the audio still would play as before. So you do need to add the audio to each word that you want to include with the audio on. Now let's look at sentence level and see if that works. Now we've got a spin the wheel activity here, okay, where you spin the wheel and a question comes up onto the screen. I often use this in class and of course at the moment this is silent. This is a game that I made a while ago when I was working with a group of students. Now I'm going to click on edit content and notice that I can generate the audio. So let's see how good this is. So we're going to click here and we're going to uh, got to add the text. So it's not picking up the text, which is a little bit annoying, but let's see if we can quickly overcome that by just copying that text very quickly. So we're just going to click on copy, click here, and then paste that text in, and then click on generate. And hopefully- What do you do in your free time? And I'm going to now add that. Now I'm going to do the same to the next one. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click on the button here. I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to generate it. Where did you go for your last holiday? Remember to click on OK. So I'm going to do this to the next one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to paste in the content and I'm going to generate what it. What are your plans for next year? Okay, and I'll just finish it off. So I'm going to do the last two. I'm going to copy, I'm going to click here, I'm going to paste in the text. I'm trying to do this as quick as what possible. What job have you got? So what I'm doing is I'm actually working with activities that I've previously created and just adding audio to them rather than making new activities. What did you do last weekend? Now this completely changes this game. Look at this game now how it would actually sound and work. If I click on the start button, spin the wheel, what job have you got? Really like that, okay, that it now adds the audio when the question comes up on the screen. Just a super quick break from the video. If you're enjoying this video and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. The videos really are for language teachers. There's loads of free stuff on the opening page, including my blog at the bottom of the screen. You've got a menu system here. You can also find out about the courses I run. And if you sign up to my newsletter, you get updated with all the latest videos, the latest blog posts, the latest online courses, and the free webinars that I run with various organizations. And at the moment, if you sign up, there is a 14 part free video course in using technology in language teaching. Okay, let's jump back to the video. Now the other piece of good news is it does work in multiple, and I mean multiple languages, and I'm going to look at that now because I study French and Spanish and Polish, and so I'm also using it in other languages. And I'm going to show you a fabulous trick if you are going to work with this in another language. Also, if you're looking for lots more tricks about how to use uh, WordWall, as I've said, I've been working on the WordWall Educator program. There's a video on the screen now which will show you five of the best tricks to learn when working with WordWall. Let's now look then at actually working with this in another language. I'm going to click on My Activities. And what I'll do in My Activities is we'll start by looking at this French one here. And I'm just going to show you something very interesting, and this is really going to help any of you who are going to be working in French or Spanish or Greek or whatever. If I click on this game at the moment, if I let's go straight to edit the content, there's no point in looking at the game. Here, I have the option of adding the words in French. So if I click here, I can actually add the French word, but notice that it asks me, well, what language do you want to use? And I've got to click and come down to French. And I found this really annoying because I had to do it every time. But there is a trick and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose French, French accent. And then I'm going to click on generate. It generates the accent. Dignage. And then I can, I can click on it. And if I go to the next one, look again what happens. It keeps offering me it in English, but watch this. This is a lovely trick that you can do. I'm just going to close that off. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And the language that I'm going to set 
I'm going to change it over from being in English so that all the instructions are English. I'm going to jump them over to be in French. And this will totally change the way the audio is activated. Look what happens now when I click on Du Soleil. It will immediately anticipates that I want to work in French and therefore it will immediately generate the audio for me. So that is a really good tip. Now, just to highlight that again, if I come back to my activities and I was to jump over to something that I've done in Spanish, okay, and I was just to click here, and I was again to play this game. At the moment, if I was to modify this game at the moment, you'll notice that if I click on, for example, the audio for DS, then it's going to show up in French because that's the language setting I've got. So the best thing for me to do to save myself having to keep change the language is to jump down, set it to Espanol, and then obviously from then on when I click on the audio, it will be in Spanish. And this is going to save me ages. Great tip, something I worked out when I was doing some work for WordWall. Now I'm going to show you now how you can add your own voice instead of using the voices that are created through the voice system that they have available. I'm very impressed though with those voice systems. One thing is if you are looking to do a lot more work with voice and even get your students to record themselves, I really like WordWall, but my recommendation would be Zengengo. I think that is an outstanding website for language teachers of all languages, and it really does open up lots of opportunities for audio, including getting the students to record themselves. I'll put a recommendation, the link on the screen that you can watch a video that introduces you to Zengengo. But what I'm gonna do now is show you how to add your own voice. So I'm gonna go back to the activity that we did before. And what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna come over to edit. And at the moment we've got this activated with, um, um, someone else's voice and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to completely change that so what I can do if I click on here to what edit do you do in your free time I'm going to remove that first I haven't showed you how to do that okay and then what I can do is I can click here and I can click on upload now the thing is I need to have the recording ready and the format that you need to save it in is an mp3 format so I've got an audio file here already saved in mp3 format I'm going to show you how I did this audio in a minute because it's very quick click on open and now what will you have what did you do last week you've got the question Okay, so in fact, I put that in the wrong file, actually. That should have been the question there. What did you do last weekend? Sorry there, but you get the idea. You can add up audio. Now, you might say to me, well, Russell, how did you do that recording? I'm going to show you really quickly a device that you can use to make these recordings super fast. Vocaroo.com is probably one of the easiest technologies to use to make audio files. It really is a great technology. You literally click on this button here, and I'll just do an example. What do you do at the weekends? Recording is made, I can even play it back and just check it. What do you do at the weekends? And then what I do is click on save and share, and then the button I need to click on in this case will be download. So that has now been saved into your downloads. So if I went over to my downloads now, you'll see, if I come over to them, that that recording is there. Now, I've done a few others earlier on when I was practicing with WordWall today, so I would obviously need to basically upload that now into WordWall. You might want to copy it first and perhaps save it on your desktop, or of course, you can just link straight from WordWall to your downloads. So once you've done that recording, then you just follow the process that I showed you, uh, show, I, I've shown you earlier. Now, if you want to know more about Vokaroo, because I use Vokaroo a lot with my students, I get them to record themselves. They can either save the audio or they can embed the audio or they can even um, just share a link to the audio. So there's loads of ways of working with Vokaroo. There is a video on the screen now that will take you through Vokaroo in more detail. One final thing to keep in mind, it doesn't seem to work with all of the activities. So for example, I've got a gap fill activity here uh, where you've got some text and you have to basically read the text and add the words in. 
Now, if I was to click on edit content, I don't seem to have the option here of adding audio to this particular activity. I presume in the future they may add it to more of the activity types. There may be a reason why you can't do it with this particular activity, but that is one of the limits of uh, WordWall. This audio feature has been added to certain games, but not all of them. Okay, really hope you liked that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free content. There's a menu system at the top of the screen. You can also scroll down on the opening page. Lots and lots of videos, mainly for language teachers. That's what I specialize in. And at the bottom of the screen, there's my blog. Now, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get weekly updates on all the new videos, the blog posts, the online courses, and the free webinars that I run exclusively for people who have signed up to the newsletter. And of course, you can sign up here to my uh, courses. The newsletter also includes a 14-part free video course in using technology in language teaching. Of course, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and finally, if you do want to contact me, you can contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about WordWall. Uh, I have been working as a consultant for WordWall recently, and some of my videos are really useful because I have some interesting insights.